Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am back in Canada from my vacation with my family in Hawaii. Got back about a day and a half ago, uh, like 4 a.m. So I'm still jet lagged a little bit, but I thought I'd get out today as soon as possible, shoot a food review at Tim Hortons. Apparently they've got a new poutine. First time, it says Quebec cheese curds. We'll see about that in just a second. We got our fake phony plastic Canadian money. Check that out. You can see through it. Oh, people have been asking me to do this for a while. Let's do it. Man, your order today? No, it has not. Sir. I'm so sorry about your weight. How may I help That's you? all right. Uh, I'm just going to do the poutine. Try it for the first time. Sure thing. I'm so sorry about your weight again. That's all right. No problem. Can I offer you another drink with that today? Uh, no thanks. So it's going to be 4 .95. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. So it's 4 95 for their poutine. And if I remember the size of their wedge fries, uh, it's not a lot of food, but it's 500 calories. Count it. 500 calories. And I think it's gonna be a small order. I just have a feeling. But we're up next, so hang on. Thank you. Thanks. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. I just did a little blooper there for you. All right. So it came to $4.95 after taxes. I didn't even notice the price on the board before I bought it. But anyway. All right, so they gave us a fork, a napkin, a spoon, don't know why, salt and pepper. Apparently that's sacrilege if you put salt and pepper on your poutine. It's already salty enough, people. What do you want? All right, like I said, it was gonna be a very small poutine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. Uh, I believe I've done their uh, a review of their fries when they first came out. Their wedges, if I should say it right. And uh, I remember liking their wedges a lot. Uh, the fact that they've added gravy and cheese curds from Quebec should knock it up a notch or two. Let's just try a cheese curd. So a poutine in Canada is French fries, cheese curds, gravy. But because Tim Hortons only does uh, potato wedges, they just went wedges, cheese curds, and gravy. Gravy is usually supposed to be uh, uh, chicken-based gravy, but some people use beef-based and, and whatever. So let's just give this cheese curd a try. If you ever get the chance to visit Quebec and you go to Montreal or Quebec City, uh, and try a fresh cheese curd, it will squeak on your teeth. As you bite it, it'll make a squeak sound and it'll blow your mind because you've never experienced that before in your life. Uh, once a refrigerated cheese curd, apparently, uh, it loses its squeak, but the flavor stays the same. So, um, Tim Hortons, your cheese curds are pretty good, except for the fact that they don't squeak. It'd be interesting to know if the Tim Hortons in Quebec will use fresh cheese curds from a, a cheese company. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's get, the gravy's not bad too. I like the gravy. Let's try, ooh, that's a big one. Ooh la la. Hey, all right. Whoa, okay. I'm just trying to pick up a fry. I'm gonna go big or go home. All right, we got a cheese curd, gravy, and a fry. And you can see the fry is nicely seasoned. Hmm, not bad. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's too much money for this much food. I think it's all right. Under five bucks. If it was over five dollars, I think I'd be a little bit disappointed. All right, here it goes for another bite. Their, their um, potato wedges still have the skin on it. So if you've ever had uh, potato uh, wedges with skin on it. That's that flavor. The skin of the potato adds that extra 
potato flair to it. The spices on there are pretty good. Not like a seasoned salt, but more like, you know, basil and, and things like that. They've sprinkled uh, all over their French fries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go have another couple of bites. I just want to make sure of a couple of things. Everything's working for me in this. Except I think I'd rather just have regular uh, French fries than wedges. Just because of the skin of the of the wedge. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's just that I prefer uh, regular French fries over wedges for a poutine. Okay. Even though it is seasoned... Let's just try something. Let's just try something. And my pepper went down here. Oh, I got it. I got it. So let's try a bit of salt. Oh, that's a bit too much. But we're going to put all this pepper. All this pepper on it. Jeez, dude. Cheese, dude. Okay, let's go pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we needed two packs of pepper. Oop, 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 oop. Let's spice it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Just a couple cheese curds, a little bit of extra salt, a little bit of extra pepper. And that helped it a little bit. It reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to get a you know, plate of fries and gravy and then we just put tons of salt, tons of pepper, and ketchup all over the top. That's what I that I used to first start having before I was introduced to poutine. Once I started eating poutine, uh, then I'd never put ketchup or salt or pepper on my poutine again. Uh, but this is bringing me back to the day when I used to have french fries and gravy and salt and pepper, and the cheese curds are just kind of a little bonus on there. All right, I'm, I'm liking it though. It's not bad. Way to go, Tim Hortons. I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be on your menu permanently because uh, next time I come by to try maybe one of your sandwiches I might upgrade to a poutine uh, on the side. All right, this is going to be a special shout out bite to all my awesome subscribers who followed all my Hawaii vlogs on my Hawaii channel. Got about 14 on there and of uh, surfing and of, of going to waterfalls and stuff like that. So if you're interested in checking out those vlogs, give it a shot and this shot, this bite is for all the people that are already on my vlog channel and already watched all my Hawaii vlogs. This bite is for you. Cheers. Aloha. <laughs> all right, people, as you know, I am starving. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Hang on. points for Ken. First try. Unbelievable. I thought it was going to take me 30 tries to get that little box in that little bag. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm going to give Tim Horton's poutine a would recommend. It would go to a go out and get it now if they use regular French fries. I'm not too keen on the whole potato wedges as a poutine. The skins, I don't know what it was. It was, it was definitely the skins that was kind of bothering me a little bit about that poutine. So I'd rather have a regular French fries. If there was regular French fries, if they actually served regular French fries, it would probably be a go out and get it now. But the gravy was fine. The cheese curds were great. And uh, the whole combination is definitely a would recommend. I, I, again, I'll probably order again in the future next time I do another sandwich or wrap type review from Tim Hortons. If you're enjoying the continuation of KBD Productions TV, doing more food reviews just for you hit that subscribe button it is right around here click the notification bell so you don't miss the next video but if you want to show your support for me eating poutine for you guys and letting you know if it's good or not please hit that like button ding 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review Ken Domic out Beep. I get my light on here there's light one light two should fit the right.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is going to be a special bite out. Poutine. And check that out. I didn't even have to use the spoon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.